as a candidate for governor, my priority has been standing up for regular Missourians. I'm proud of my record of going after criminals so that our neighborhoods are safer, standing up for Missouri consumers, and expanding health care opportunities in our great state. I've always believed that Missouri must, place, it must be a place where you work hard and play by the rules. You should be able to make a better life for your family. And while my opponent in this race may be different, those priorities always will remain the same. One stepping down. Well, it certainly hasn't changed what the issues are in the, in the campaign. Um, one thing, I mean, it may, it may provide uncertainty on the other side of the equation, but our certainty is very real. We know what our issues are, we know what our candidates are, and we're prepared to move forward. So uh, it's obviously a, 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 a significant change, but not a significant change in the lives of Missourians who want health care, who want affordable college education, and who want to see improvements in public education. Jay, what is your... How, how, does it, how does it change the way you will approach delivering that message to Missourians uh, about change? You were running against Governor Blunt's record and the problems you saw in, in it, and how do you deliver that message to voters now under very different circumstances than what you had 24 hours ago? Well, we'll see how changed those, those circumstances are. You don't think they're changed? Well, no, I mean, in the sense of what the issues are. I mean, uh, pretty much everybody that's... Excuse me? Tell me who this is. I make a determination as to whether to save it or not. <laughs> <laughs> the... The issues haven't changed. Just because the governor decided not to run doesn't mean that 400,000 people who had their health care cut have had it restored. That's right. <laughs> it, right. It does not mean that college is more affordable. Right. It does not mean that we have, you know, once again this year, we're spending a smaller percentage of the state's budget on public education than we did in years past. None of those things have changed. Uh, so while the faces may change, my sense is the issues are going to remain the same. Uh, our opponents in this race have stayed stayed stunningly disciplined about wanting to cut people's health care, sell away the Student Higher Education Loan Authority, and not provide the resources necessary for public education. And regardless of who the Republicans choose to bring that message, I fully expect that to be their message uh, as we move forward in this election. Jay, what is your reaction to possibly uh, Kenny Holshoff running against you, a man that used to work in your office? I mean, um, it's, once again, it's great. To, it's the other side is uncertain. We're united. Yeah. Uh, so I, I'm not going to get into being a pro political prognosticator yeah. about what happens uh, as Republicans attempt to either have a primary or, or coalesce around uh, around a single candidate. Uh, all I know is that we have a great deal of certainty on our side. I think that the work that we've put in on the issues that we have over the last three years have put us in a position we're in right now to be in an election year, uh, to be in a position uh, to, uh, to to control the, 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 the agenda and the debate in this in this campaign, and I'm excited about that. I don't individual players are not where my anal analyzation is. Um, this is not about who I'm against. You know, it's about who we're for. We, we are far, you know, the single mom with two kids that's got an LPN that wants to be an RN, that can't afford to go to college because her tuition's out of control, and with the sale of Mohila, she can't borrow the money she needs to move forward. We're far. The count right. Right. Yeah. And, and, and so I, I think this is going to continue to be a campaign about what we're far, whoever the, 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 uh, the, the, the Republican spokesman is after they deal their process, either a, either, either a backroom deal or, or a primary. Uh, we'll, we'll deal with them, but I don't think the issues have changed. They certainly, nothing that's happened in Jeff City in the last uh, 24 hours has affected the lifestyles of, of teachers showing up to teach in our public schools, our parents who don't have enough money to pay for health care of their kids, uh, and, and, and the only way we're going to get that kind of change is to win this election and get our agenda moving forward.